All right, y'all. It's into Red Room. Day two of 100 days of Pilates. So I'm not doing 100 days of consecutive Pilates work, right? I'm doing just 100 days of Pilates. So today was day two. I had the same studio, different instructor, and it was the same class, I think, but just a different instructor. And it was good because we worked on different things from the other class, you know, like, um, cause I kind of thought it was going to be the same kind of routine, but it wasn't. And I appreciated that. This instructor I'm on the fence about only because I like the other instructors, um, not necessarily it's not necessarily approach i felt like this one had a lot more jargon in there and if you were kind of new to pilates um you may get overwhelmed and i also think the it ultimately goes down to like pilates class size um and i might end up pursuing private lessons in the future so oh. mainly because i want to work on my form and i kind of feel like the class doesn't the class especially if it's like 10 people doesn't lend itself to like more detail to you especially if like you're having troubles getting the moves or um your form really it's just more about form for me so um I think I did sign up with this instructor again before a different class for a different like set of class I think I signed up for a cardio course um so we'll go from there but I like day two um I like definitely doing lunges and stuff like that what I learned was that um my core in comparison to the rest of my body is just quite um weak and I do need to like build on that like we were doing like lunges using the reform like the machine um we the first class I did we did like kind of those what are those curls or whatever um we did those where you were like you're working on up here your upper and your um your shoulder blades and you know stuff like that um so i yeah like i like it but i did notice that my core is quite weak and i mean it's also where the most weighted so um, I'm just going to work on that in the future and let me just turn this on. I'll work on that in the future. And I told my friend that I think I'm going to try because we do planks, both of classes we've done planks. So I'm going to try and build up my, um, ability to do planks and, and I'll just do that at home and I'll try to do it at home. So, yeah. So that was a hundred days of Pilates day two. I already signed up for days three and four and so that'll be this upcoming week this upcoming week weekend so yeah that's what I learned or really solidified my core is the weakest my legs are pretty strong um I did have a little bit of knee trouble last night and I was like oh god we gotta figure this joint out because I'm too young I'm 29. I'm too young to be having joint problems with the knees and shit like that. I can't get this shit replaced. Not at 30. Uh-uh. I ain't going to do that. So, working on that. And then my upper body is not strong when it comes to, like, weights. But it is... It's I'm able to do movement, right? Like, I'm not horribly restricted. So, I think once you start getting into stuff like this, you start noticing your own body. And then you kind of also notice when I was talking about the class and the class structure, how maybe um, you want to consider private lessons or how you can kind of tweak the information that's coming in and kind of make it helpful to your body to help you improve your form and do stuff like that so I think I'll do a larger discussion video about this um coming up soon because I'm going to be making another channel and I'm going to be making a channel devoted not necessarily to health and fitness per se um but it's related to like massage and then this will just kind of be an offshoot of that so yeah thank you for watching hopefully you enjoy the um, video and yeah, stay tuned with the progress. All right. Bye.